Salway, welcome to Ask a Legionary. I'm your host, Titus Suetonius Trajanus. Today we're going to answer an age-old question about sandals. I was asked this question again, and I've been asked multiple times in real life, whether or not Roman soldiers wore sandals. And the assumption is, yes. But I'm here to tell you today that the answer is no. They did not wear sandals, they wore boots. They were boots, not sandals. The word caligai or calci, which would be the two types of boots soldiers would wear during our time, derived from a Latin word calx, which means ankle, and refers to a shoe with a sole making them a boot and not a sandal. So now I'm going to bring in the couple style of boots that the soldiers would have worn during this time period. The first style is the commonly known Caligai, which came into use during the first century BC and became known as the boot of the soldier. Sometimes when soldiers would climb the ranks, it would say they came from the Caligai. Now the Caligai is cut from a couple pieces of leather sewn in the back, but strips are cut out of one piece and then it's sewn on to the sole. This makes it a boot and not a sandal. Sandals would be a flat piece with strips sewn across. The other type of boot which I was wearing during the last video is called the calci. This is a closed toe boot, again, hobnail bottom, derived originally from a boot called a peron, which was used as far back as the Etruscans in the 4th century BC. So closed toe boots were nothing new to the Romans. The older style boots had a lot of styles, were upper class, or they originally perones came from farmers. But during our time in the 1st century AD, these would have been the two styles of boots worn. Multiple finds of both boot style have been found, especially at the fort in Vindolanda. Another thing the soldier would have worn with his boots in a climate like I was in the other day, in snow, is a sock. This is a null binding sock, which is an age-old practice dating well into the BC centuries. A tight knit pattern called null binding. These also produce a nice amount of padding as well. Finds have also been discovered of just wool sewn together to form a sock. The Romans were a very smart people. They took what their enemies did and made it better. When it came to the navy, cavalry they adapted from other cultures, mainly the Celts and the Thracians, and hired them. So with the same with boots. When they were on the frontier, they weren't going to march around in snow and open-toed Caligai. They wore these. In the Mediterranean climate of Rome and around Greece, yes, these were very common with no socks. And relief show socks with, that, are, that have open toes and open heels. So there was various different styles of socks. But during our time period, which is primarily based in the first century, mainly around the year of the four emperors in 69 AD, these would have been the two primary type of boots. As I mentioned earlier about the Caligai, they came into style around the 1st century BC and were the predominant military shoe for the 1st century and 2nd century AD. They started to be phased out towards the 3rd century, and these took off really in the 2nd and 3rd century, becoming the primary boot at that time until they were eventually phased out, this particular style. Roman soldier boots also had hobnails on the bottom, as you can see clearly on both boots. The patterns changed, as I have two varying patterns on both of these boots. If you want to see a lot of original finds on boots, feel free to check out the Fort Vindolanda's website or check them out on Facebook. There's been many finds of boots there every year. I'm going to now turn to my sources to confirm what I have just stated to you, especially about the hobnail pattern of the boots. 
During his series, The Jewish War, the historian Josephus writes, when speaking about the centurion Julian, who chased a bunch of Jewish rebels across the temple floor and slipped wearing his hobnailed boots. For as he had shoes all full of thick and sharp nails, as had every one of the soldiers. So written in sources and finds confirm that the Caligae and the Calci had hobnails on the bottom. That wraps up our discussion on boots. I just want to let everyone know, if you have questions related to this video or other questions about our culture, please ask in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and comment. Ask more questions. We're willing to answer. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next video.